In his generation, he was perhaps more typical, but you could argue he is that rare breed now, a public servant whose dependability you can set your watch by, a man who has done exactly what he said he was going to do, and for almost seven decades too. Everyone notes he gave up a Navy career, but that doesn't really do justice to it. It may be more common now, but for an ambitious man to give up his career for his wife in the 1950s was more or less unheard of. And he did it too, for quite a lot of this. You've never seen the world's most experienced pluck on there. <laughs> he needed a sense of humour. And he certainly has one. The Queen and the Duke certainly do seem particularly at ease here. It was the Duke himself who decided that they should spend the actual day of their anniversary on Malta. But this very private of public couples, quite a romantic gesture. <laughs> Many of those who've seen the royal couple close up suggest there is something of a Darby and Joan quality to them, joshing each other along, loyal, steady, witty. They don't live it up much, as this famous illicitly shot photograph of their morning Tupperware shows. They have been given very little reason to love the media. Yes, there have been some risque remarks, but I was present for at least one notorious one when he asked some Aboriginal leaders if they still threw spears at each other. Sounds terrible, but in context, wasn't. Patience was not perhaps his strong suit, as this photographer found when he was deemed to be faffing. Get on with it, the prince said. As did this driver. It's quite a day, really. You don't have to.